Welcome to our show, the Success Stories Talk Show, presented by Trident Communications. I, Simran, and would like you to introduce to our guest for today, Vinay Gupta, one of the India's leading fashion choreographer, designer, and internationally renowned model trainer. To know more about his journey of success, let's welcome Vinay Gupta on our show. Hello Vinay, how are you? All very well Simran, how do you do? I'm very good. Okay Vinay, so how did your journey begin as a fashion choreographer and have you faced any challenges till now? Uh, Sidney, to be very honest, my journey started in the year 1997 and uh, it was during when I was studying uh, in my college and then I realized that there is something which I want to do very differently from the other rest of the family members because in my family there are all IAS, PCS and a lot of people who are into businesses um, but I was the only one who thought of choosing something very different and I thought of just doing fashion designing though there was a lot of opposition in the family but my, my, my immediate family like my mother, father, my brother, sister they supported me completely and then they said that you know we will not let other impose their likes and dislikes on you and whatever you need to do it just go ahead and we'll support you completely so that was the time I decided that I wanted to be a fashion designer and then I joined NIFT then I joined Pearl Academy of Fashion and yes these were the few small challenges in the initial go I definitely did face it because of the fact that uh, that time nobody was knowing what fashion designing is, you know, and now everybody know what fashion designing is. So initially it was taken as a darzi darzi affair, but now it is like a full fledged, a recognized fraternity of fashion designers. So yes, yeah. Okay. So um, who are your inspiration and biggest support in your journey? Well, my biggest support is my sister, definitely, yes, because she was the one who actually convinced my parents that, you know, let him do whatever he needs to do it. Why? Because um, that was a decision taken by me and she categorically said to the family that if anything goes wrong, he will be the whole sole responsible person. And if everything goes fine, then it is for everyone. So he's not going to come back and say, oh my God, you know, the decision taken by you guys to become an engineer or whatsoever was actually wrong. So. Um, uh, so I took my own decision and I think I'm just doing great, yes. Okay, that's really... So my good. sister is the one who actually supported me through and through. That's really uh, good to hear that. Okay, so uh, what's the idea from fashion choreographer to fashion designer? See, um, Simran, um, it's very evident that if a fashion choreographer is a fashion designer also, um, uh, he would well understand the entire pattern of the show. You see what I mean? I was being a fashion designer earlier and then switched on to fashion choreography and I made fashion choreography as my complete full-fledged profession. Um, because choreographer is basically a show director, you know, and he understands that what kind of a garment to be displayed on the ramp and what needs not to be displayed, what should be the look of the whole show, what should be the hairstyle, what is the color of the dress, what is the color of the lights and everything which has to fall onto the stage, plus uh, um, um, the right set of music, you know. It is very, very important for a choreographer and a show director to understand the whole pattern of the show sitting with the designer. So, most of the time I face Simran that designers they don't even know that you know what exactly the music to be played and they ask the choreographer only so I personally feel the choreographer have a better hand than the designer designers they are just designers they design outfits and they are just through with it but if a choreographer yeah. is a designer also that makes a lot of difference so I was doing choreography and uh, designing earlier and then switched on to choreography and now I have uh, opened up my own Kuchio line so I think it's going very well together that's really nice, really yeah. congratulate for your, to that. Yeah, thank you so much, yeah, Simran. Okay, so tell us something about your fashion label. Okay, the label which we started, it started in the year 2019 in July. After conceiving it from a long time, that whether I should get into it, whether I should not get into it. 
um, because to be very honest, opening up a couture line is actually a difficult task in terms of handling the labors, and you have a lot of complication when it comes to administration and stuff like that. It's just not that you pick up the fabric, you cut it, and you sew it, and the design is ready. Nothing of that. There are so many processes which goes in designing an outfit, which is a very tedious task, and that can only be done when you have a hell lot of moolah in your pocket, when you have a lot of money. You just can't start with like ten thousand or maybe a ten lakh or fifteen lakh rupees. Yes, yeah. ten fifteen lakh rupees you can start off, but like a basic outfit, not the couture line. When you want to start and set up a label, a huge amount of money is needed on the table. So after working for so many years in the fashion industry. Just kind of gathered some money, thought of just you know coming up now with the label. So we started last year, and uh, uh, my label is all about contemporary affair. Uh, it is all about um, 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 the garments, which uh, has been utilized for all the ceremonial purposes. Be it your lehenga, a be it your lehenga, your sarees, your evening gowns, but anything to do with the ceremonial purpose, we design, but not for the brides at the moment because the bride is a specific. um a feel all together and uh, most of the brides have their own specific designers to choose from so i thought of designing something where i can cater a huge line of uh, contemporary plus uh, ceremonial outfits to the industry and uh, the best part about our collection i just don't want to brag about myself but uh, the best part about our collection is that we we have been able to manage and bridge the gap which a lot of people were not been able to find in the market which is called styling because designing everybody is doing it Beautiful colors, beautiful um, piece of fabric, beautiful embroideries. But what was missing in the market was the styling, and that was our main focus. Okay. Yeah. That's very fascinating. Yeah, About exactly. I mean, this uh, industry is really fascinating. But at the same time, there's a lot of hard work and uh, um, um, emotion which goes behind this. It's just not utopian and champagne dreams. Um, dreams and utopian, utopian dreams and champagne that you find overnight. You have a drink, and then tomorrow the dress is ready. No way! It's just like slogging too much. That is truly that is. Okay, so any unforgettable uh, moment or any event which you want to share with us? Yes, there was an event which I was doing it in Rose Hill in Mauritius, and my whole crew missed the flight because of the heavy rain. We missed the flight, and the same day was the event, and then we immediately called out, called the organizer because it was a huge ticketed show, and uh, we were really uh, shitting in our pants actually to say that because how to reach there because the another flight was after two three hours, and by the time we catch that flight, and we reach to Mauritius, and we land up to a hotel, that would have been a short timing, you know. And when we will get ready? When we will get into the hotel? When we will freshen up and all this? And that was quite a challenge for us. But finally, we, my client, booked up all the tickets, rebooking uh, for all the crew. Uh, we managed to take the aircraft, every one of us. And I decided that we will not have sufficient time uh, to reach Mauritius and do practice or even the technicals. So I actually requested a lot of passengers. Do you please shift aside and let my crew sit all together so that I can on paper tell them the choreography. And most of my models in the toilet they did their makeup so that they are ready at the inside the airline. And the moment they go there, wear the dress and the show is on. So it was quite a challenging affair for me that very moment. But I think I think we managed to do a very good show. The mayor of the Rosal City was impressed. Then in spite of a lot of delays and also. Uh, mess up. Uh, the show went off very, very well. Yeah, so that was the incident which was there back in my mind, and I will remain so because I've never handled that kind of event ever since then. Um, everything has become very smooth because uh, now being into the event management company, we're very pro in doing things. But yes, that was the event which I still remember. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, it is like by your words only. I can say how messed up and how curious you must be, guys, for the show. It was. It was. We were really shitting in our pants. We were bleeding inside and out. How it's going to happen? Because, because I, 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 my, and all my models were professional. I thanks to my models and and thanks to me also that I, I'm very hardcore in selecting the professional people on board because that makes my life easier. And I told girls, please do your makeup inside the bathroom because we don't have time. We have two hours to land the flight. Everybody just take out their makeup kits and start doing it, and then it, it went away well. 
that's really inspiring and like uh, i could see the hard work all people did to come up yes, with yes 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 yeah okay so uh, what have you done to take indian fashion globally um similar um uh, indian fashion is anyway existing globally and people are liking about it people are very fond of the indian fashion designers and stuff like that but in order to reach more successfully deep down into all lanes markets and everything we still need to have uh, we still need to have few events which needs to be at place where we can actually take the indian ethos globally for that uh, my endeavor is to 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 do some events all across the world for which i have started a property called elliori india where i take indian designers um i take the uh, the help of the uh, consulates and embassies there uh, where they felicitate me to organize a show in their country um and and i take indian designers there showcase uh, their collection uh, called the indian community community and also a mixed community at, at the same time because it's not only indian but the mixed community are also liking indian fashion at the same time so when i organize a show called alluring india it is in alluring india is basically a program which i do it um internationally at different parts of the world so that gives me the leverage to take indian fashion across and i wanted to continue it because uh, that's how i will be able to support indian fashion so i think a lot of other people should also come up with some kind of a property where they keep on doing a small tit and bit tit bits of uh, uh, fashion events or maybe some kind of forum or some kind of cultural activities where india is known uh, globally so this is my effort and this is my endeavor in a small way and slowly and steadily it's going great guns uh, so far i have been able to do eight volumes but let's see looking forward to more best of luck for the more so when i apart from fashion choreography do you have any other passion which you want to follow or like which you follow now uh simran to be very honest like looking at my age and the journey i have uh, crossed till now uh there is no other option to go back but yes if i would ever get the chance to switch on i will get into chefing because i am a very good cook also and i know almost all kind of delicacies and cuisines um the start of north indian to south indian to punjabi to um, um arabic to italian to mongolian to thai i i'm very pro at making all kind of food personally by myself i'm a I'm, i'm a very good cook and my friends personally like handmade food of my uh, uh, made, made made by me and uh, they really enjoy it and uh, uh, yes so i think that could have been my another profession but i don't think i'm going to go to that profession because i'm doing good in my existing profession and i uh, tend to continue so okay that's nice okay so uh, what are your future plans or any upcoming projects okay so i am working on some pageant at the moment uh which is going to be on an international level but i'm going to announce it very soon in the month of april which is and 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 it's going to be commencing in the year 2022 um because huge and hell lot of work which needs to be done on that particular front um uh, so that is the property which i'm definitely going to start up very soon and that's only my future plan so my couture line and my international shows so i'm going to stick to only these and after that i'm not going to look at any other work here and there because there's going to be too much on my plate throughout the throughout the year Okay that's really good to hear that you're having a pageant show you know pageant shows are something which are really really fascinating I I enjoy it so much I really enjoy it because you know it, you get to interact with so many people you get to interact with so many people and at the same time people are coming from different parts of the world interacting with you and you get to know them and you 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 basically have your own wider spectrum all across the world so that makes a lot of difference you know and uh, Uh, it's always better that you should have people all corner nook and corners of the uh, universe so yes i i, I enjoy doing fashion i'm very pro in organizing fashions okay so uh your professional advice is to all the models like what do you want to like advise all the upcoming models to be very honest like uh, when people say oh professional model or new model or fresh model for me there is nothing called new fresher or professional person can be professional being new also 
depending yeah. on in what zone in what circumstances and what background they have come up with you know you can be professional yourself being into not be even going into a profession so uh, so for me what exactly matters is your own attitude if you have an attitude to carry you can enter into any kind of zone and you will come out with fly colors and more successful so um, for me uh, the advice to all the people those who wanted to enter into this glamour industry is just be yourself do not get into the uh, sugar coated talks of people uh, just be yourself listen to your heart and analyze yourself what you are up to and just go ahead and go on full big on full yeah. full time big on yeah and those were the truly aspiring words you said when i okay because because so, people in the industry will come up with so many things hello. so many sugar coated statements and stuff like that but i think the most important thing which everybody needs to have is their own attitude and to analyze their own personality because you may want to have a a, a a name in the fashion industry but you don't have that skills and without analyzing just looking at other people and running into a rat race and that's you think oh my god i also can be a fashion model and you don't have that ability or the content in you i think you will fall drastically in big time so analyzing yourself having confidence and attitude positive attitude is something which can take you places definitely definitely okay um so what is success for you see for me a uh, success is something feeling content about the whole journey of yours because if you feel a certain point of time that now i'm content because success has no end yeah you keep looking for more success and more success success comes to you oh my god i think this is not enough you need more you need more feeling content within yourself is what success is all about and to reach to the level where you feel content is a whole lot of hard work also required and the day you feel content it means you are successful that's truly inspiring words you said again okay winner uh, my next question that um, anything which um, you regret like you wanted to do something but due to time consistency you couldn't uh, you, you haven't done that similar to tell you something <laughs> i am a kind of personality who never okay. regrets in life sooner or later if i want something i get it and whatever i have thought of in my life i have got it and i'm getting it and i tend to get it in the coming future for which even if i don't get one or two things in my life i won't regret because i think i have enough okay that's nice yeah. okay um if not the fashion industry then yeah. what would you think be if i would have not been in the fashion industry then i think i would have been a um, engineer because i i am a qualified uh, uh science student and i cleared engineering also um my family were pushing me to be an engineer but i said i said that that's not the kind of field i would like to get in um i had a different flair so i chose fashion designing and i'm thriving into that Okay. So, in a, a lastly message for our viewers. The only message which I wanted to convey to all the viewers of different age group, different community, different classes, masses and everyone that just be yourself, be honest. spread love never hurt anybody because beneath the skin we have the same color which is red under everyone's skin it never hurt anyone in life and rest i think if i say something is going to be again sugar coated being into for fashion industry but i think you need to be yourself and be honest to people that's simple that's really sweet of you in a to share such a heartwarming thought with our viewers Thank you Vinay for joining us today. It was pleasure talking to you. So stay tuned guys for more stories every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Till then stay safe. Very much Simran for interviewing me. My pleasure. Take Thank care. You. <laughs> you too.